Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we are putting out on a daily basis. At this point, we've got success coaches within our company who are putting out content on a daily basis. So please make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. Also, if you have a soccer coaching business and you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business and you want to get on a call and ask me any questions about how to grow, how to scale, how to get to the next level, then there's two ways you can do that. Uh, the first way, if you visit the description in this video, right, you'll find my Calendly link. You can click on the link and you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me at the available time slots. Or if you just want to send me a direct uh, email, you can do that as well. It's makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, so those are the two ways that you can reach out to me to, to get on a call or to ask any questions with regards to your soccer coaching business. So today I'm going to be talking about why parents are ripping you off. Okay, now every single day I'm talking to coaches in the soccer industry and something that I have noticed is a lot of them are charging very little for their services, right? Something Ben teaches in the program that we have and something Ben always talks about is charging more for your services so that you can work with less clients but work with more committed clients okay so what i see a lot of coaches do is especially one-to-one -one, uh, trainers is what they're doing is they're working with 20 to 30 clients per week but they're charging very minimum minute minimum for their service right they're charging very little for their services and some coaches who i've seen their content i've seen their training sessions right they're very good trainers okay there's some coaches out there that are very good but they're charging very little for their service and ultimately parents know that and parents are ripping them off okay so today's video is to talk about why you should be charging more for your training but why charging more means that you have to add more value okay so something ben teaches coaches within our program is how to add more value within your sports training business okay being part of the company myself i've seen how ben has been working with with the coaches within our program how he's got them great results and how they've achieved a lot of success with their, their business. Okay. But to be successful, to achieve a success means that you have to be charging more than what you currently are. Okay. So to charge more, you need to add more value. So by adding more value, that doesn't mean that necessarily you have to make your training sessions longer. Okay. So if you're doing an hour, Adding more value could be going to 90 minutes. But what we want to do is we want to create a system where you're shortening down your training sessions. So if you're offering a one-on-one -on -one session for 90 minutes, okay, we want to limit that to 60 minutes. But we want to offer more away from the just the training session. Okay, so these could be zoom calls that you do with your clients on a weekly basis okay these could be 20 to 30 minute zoom calls where you're jumping on you're talking about uh, confidence you're talking about um game analysis right you might go and watch them on the weekend and then you get on a zoom call and you talk about what were their strengths what were their weaknesses during the game you can talk about comfort how to build confidence how to develop good uh, habits or an athletic lifestyle uh, how to prevent injury okay during their team training sessions or just in general when they're away from you 
Okay, so that's another way of adding value away from your training session, right? So we aren't adding more time that we're with a client on the on the field. We're adding more value away from that session. Okay, so the Zoom call could be one. Uh, another one could be homework, right? You're sitting the the clients that you're working with, you're sending them daily homework that they have to do by themselves. And then we're creating an accountability system where they have to check in with you and they have to show you that they're doing their homework. Okay, so this could, showing them, showing you that they're doing their homework could be maybe setting up a WhatsApp group. It could be setting up a Kajabi community group. It could be setting up a group on, on school which is a software that we currently use within our business. Okay, so there's a lot of ways that you can keep players accountable. And essentially when that accountability becomes really good and you start to, your clients start to get results with you, ultimately you're adding more value and your program becomes more valuable. Okay, so the Zoom calls are one, uh, accountability homework is another. Or, as I mentioned very uh, previously, very slightly, is game evaluations, right? So going out to watch your clients play in their, in their games once or twice a month and providing game evaluation reports, okay? So a report into how well they are doing or, how, or what were their strengths, what were their weaknesses, what could they improve on? Okay, what can they do away from your training session to improve things that they might have not done on, on the field? So if they're not getting game time, or if they're not getting a lot of game time, then how can we turn that into a goal where your clients are working on something that they need work on, which will give them more game play, playing and game time? Okay. So those are just three ways that you can add more value so that you can charge more for your service, your program becomes more valuable, and ultimately clients are paying you more for your services, right? And you're not getting ripped off by parents, okay? I've seen it a lot of times where coaches are charging very small amounts for their services, but they're delivering so much, right? They're offering 90 minute training sessions. They're going to watch games. They're, you know, they're contacting par uh, players and parents on a weekly basis to talk about their child, right? All of that is time. And all of that time needs to be paid for, okay? Because that time, your time as a trainer is valuable, okay? So let's not let parents rip us off. Let's create a system within our company, within your company, within your business that provides extraordinary value, okay? that it provides high quality training and ultimately you can charge a premium for your service so that you don't have to work with 20 to 30 to 40 clients per week. You can work with 10 clients, charge them a premium okay, and make more money working less hours during the week okay so if you want to learn how to do that if you want to learn how to charge more and work less then shoot me a, an email okay with a question so visit the um the description in the description of this video there will be my email address send me an email with the word a uh, charge Okay, so send me an email with the word charge. I'll know what it is and I'll respond to you with steps that you can take with your coaching business. Or if you want to jump on a call with me, okay, the calls I believe are more effective because I can show you the strategies that you can implement within your academy, within your business, okay, that will help you to get to that next level. And you can do that by scheduling a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, uh, to learn more okay so hopefully this video has helped remember make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content that we are putting out okay thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one